I think um, most Vidvarishan geologists and, and mine geologists um, were in fact strong placerists. People like uh, Des Pretorius, Laurie Minter, well-known names. Yes. Very strong placerists. And, you know, from the work that, for example, Richard had done on uh, Vidvarishan conglomerates, studying heavy minerals and the size of zircons and showed very yep. clearly this, the decrease in, in these heavy minerals, including py round and pyrite, yes. going from near the outcrop proximal towards a distal position. So a lot of factors pointed to this um, a, a sedimentary origin for the heavy minerals. But at Anglo, a, a number of people, their geochemists in particular, I'm um, just trying to think of the guy's name, um, uh, Jeff Kenyon, uh, uh, Jeff Kenyon, I think, yeah, Jeff Kenyon from Anglo, from Anglo, uh, had been studying the mineralogy of the bits and the associated and, and the silicate mineralogy and so on, and showed that there was a major alteration f phenomenon or, or halo around many of these reefs, and so the idea of, of a massive hydrothermal influx started developing within Anglo, within a group within Anglo, and. And that became quite a powerful force within Anglo to the extent that uh, it started guiding the, a lot of the exploration and, as you mentioned, searching for origins of this, uh, this hydrothermal influx. Very expensive drilling. Probably. Very expensive drilling, exactly. Uh, but, and it, look, it's still controversial. There, are, there is a group of people who, who do believe that uh, hydrothermal f uh, fluids uh, brought uh, gold in. Um, and sulfidized whatever was there, heavy minerals. But I'd say still 90% of South African geologists go for the, um, the Plasa idea. If you model these reefs, you have classic channels and associated slightly lower energy shoulders of the channels, or shoot uh, formation and so on. So there's a very clear sedimentological control. And the decrease in the grain size of the heavy minerals, including pyrite, as you're going proximal, distal, all these features. I, suggest sedimentary origin. You could of course argue that the, those pyrites were some sort of heavy mineral which has been totally sulfidized. I guess the controversy, as you said, still exists yeah. uh, as, the, uh, as we see in the 100th anniversary volume. Correct. Um, so it probably will carry on as a controversy uh, for a while. <laughs> it's one of those great controversies yeah. in, in, in economic geology.